what we're gonna do now is in, like the, the second step sort of in our process. We painted everything green with our P3. And now what we're gonna do is called layering. And layering is where you take another color. So we're using green. So we're gonna take another color of green and we're gonna use an actual layer. This is Moot Green. And we are going to highlight, we're gonna layer all the edge, like all these ribs and some of the door stuff and the ladders and, and the ends. Okay, we're gonna layer on those. And where's our guy? Here he is, okay. This is the one that's ready to go that we're gonna do right now. Okay, so what the layering does, it's gonna give some more relief to our to our model here. And so I'm gonna show you, okay, up here on the big screen, we've got this Frisco box card. Now layers do not necessarily have to be lighter like you see here. They've gotta be brighter, that's the key. Later we will go back and do, we'll use some kind of a shading system to bring them out. But right now we need to make them stand out just by making them brighter. So let's see how we're gonna do that. Okay, so we got the mood green. Shake it up a little bit more. And we got a little brush like this. Okay, this here is a slice of a pool noodle. You know, that thing that kids take to the pool. Slice it off so I can put my paint in here so it doesn't spill. Word of warning, if you, if you go into the any of like the Facebook groups where they do this kind of painting using these paints, if you post a picture of your spilled paint, you get kicked out of the group because it happens a lot. Pool noodle prevents that from happening and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So let's open her up. And these paints have this nice lip here that's got paint on them that we can get our paint from. We put them in a pool noodle. Now we're gonna take moot green. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, get our brush ready here. Okay, so we're gonna get a little bit on the end here. All right, not too much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in at a very low angle. Okay, that seems like kind of a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to just, I'm able to brush just the top of my ribs here by coming in at a very low angle and just wiping it on like that. Now, can you see the difference between those two on the end and the one right next to it that's not touched? The difference is subtle. Now, we're not touching the waffles on here. Those, we're going to do something different for those. I'm going to take a little bit and I'm just going to wipe it. And if it gets, if you get little spots and things, don't worry about it. They're not important. Don't go through all the trouble trying to clean them up and stuff. Just leave them alone. It'll all come out in the wash and it won't really matter. And then we'll just... Get these edges nice and easy. Yeah, this when this is done, it's not going to look factory new, but it is also we're not making rust buckets. Okay, some people go straight for the rust bucket because they're not exactly sure, or they don't have a recipe in mind when they do it, and they just go straight for heavy duty weathering. And so then they keep weathering, keep weathering until they give up, which is how you get rust buckets. And I personally don't care for rust buckets. I like stuff to look as if it's in service, but also totally serviceable. And this goes pretty fast. Okay, so just about got it. 
this is going to be a really nice effect on here. Now, we did do this to the U25 and the U36, and there we have it. Not only that, this is the side where I broke off a piece, and I camouflaged it by... I put in... I just put in a piece of styrene, baking soda, super glue, and a little piece of Plastruct channel on there. It's going to be camouflaged nicely so you can't see it. And that's all there is to it. And then I'm going to hit the, the raised ribs on the end. I've already done them, but let's just hit them again. Okay. So we come in, and these guys get just like one wipe does the trick. There. Okay, now the difference is very subtle, but there is a difference. It's looking pretty good. It's looking really good. It's going to be great. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to layering. But when it comes out in the wash, the layering is going to be, it's going to add a really nice special effect.